place. Today, what's happening? Today, all these patterns have turned into these kind of strange behaviors. It's creepy. It's weird. Why is it that the conversation, you know, you meet somebody in the subway, it's not like, how's your sex life? <laughs> right? <laughs> Why not? Why not? How many orgasms did you have last week? How did it go? Was it fun? How many partners are you sharing? You know, it's like, it's like the kind of discussion that we are having here. It's like, oh, it's locked, you know, closed room. Uh, maybe half of you are not talking about it to your families. Like, why not? This is healthy. It's healthy stuff. It's how to relate, how to be in healthy relationships. So what we are trying to do now is to get rid of the blockages, of the traumas, of the guilt, and the shame, and whatever is left in this area. And maybe some of you are scoring quite high, and some of you are still trapped into this, uh, these zones of conflict that really don't serve you. So try to estimate inside of you right now, zero to 100 percent, how sexually free are you? 100 percent is like you are exploding, like a god or goddess. You are just Right there, your sexual energy is just flowing in spirals of whirlpools of energy. Your kundalini is awake, and you are like, whoo, in a state of orgasmic delight all the time. That's sexual freedom at its maximum. Zero percent is like you're dying. Internally, you are about to explode <coughs> in pain, and you don't know what to do about it. So zero, zero percent is the minimum, 100 percent is the maximum. So take a mental note internally and think, how high do you score right now? Just take that, that mark for yourself. If you are at 60%, maybe 70%, maybe 80%. Ask yourself what it would take to get to 100%, to be at least in the 80 to 100% range. What is it that it would take? So there are lots of techniques to get you there. Lots of things that we can do. And some of them is what we have been doing here. You know, going to clubs, connecting, getting rid of the shames, getting rid of the anxieties associated with sex or with attraction. That's what we are aiming for. And again, why is it so important? It's because as a human race, we are stuck in our evolution. I believe that we, we communicate and actively engage with the invisible forces around us all the time. You can call these gods and goddesses, devas, aliens, uh, spirits, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, but I believe that there is something going on in the invisible that is, wants to come and help. So if you have negative patterns inside of you, things that are not solved, the energy comes in, starts giving you power, and it actually activates neg negative patterns as much as the good ones. So what does that tell you? It means that if, if as a human race, we have all these disturbing patterns and we are given all this power from the invisible, it's going to create wars, it's going to create conflict, it's going to create an activation of the negative patterns and the power struggles as much as the good things. So we have to clear that before we can evolve further.